Hey guys, it's your girl Moya Loves and I'm back with another video. So, as requested and as promised, I am here with a video that I feel like is definitely going to help you guys. This video will consist of my advice to you guys about tips and like little things that I didn't know when I first started my business that I was like baffled about. And I'm definitely gonna put it in this video and give you guys the knowledge that I didn't have when I first started. Before I begin, I ask that you guys subscribe to the channel. Please like, comment down below, and also put on your notifications so you guys can know when I post my videos. So now I'm trying to post more frequently. Um, but also, just a disclaimer, since I am in a building and we do share, you know, different units, you might hear walking back and forth or you might hear music. It's okay, it's my neighbors, alright? That's not going to stop me from giving you guys what I promised. And that will be this video. So you want to stay tuned. First things first, very, very, very first thing that I will recommend for you guys is definitely have a book all right have a book if you don't have a book i want you to stop right now go on amazon go on michael's go to dollar tree which is where i used to get my books and sometimes i still do if they're cute i get them get yourself a book where you can write your thoughts where you can write things that you need to do, where you can write anything, your ideas, you need to get it out of your head and put it on paper, all right? So usually I would have a smaller book. I don't remember, I don't know where my other book is, but I write so much that I had to get a bigger book. And I got this book from um, Burlington, and I think it was about $5, and the, the pages are really smooth. So I really love this book, and it has this little, uh, I guess a bookmark string in it and um, I really love this book because I write all the time I probably go through about probably three books in a year I'm not too good with the organizer but if you guys are very structured like that in that way also get yourself an organizer along with a book that you could just write stuff in yeah that's my first advice to you guys I write I write every single thing, everything I'm supposed to do, my to-do list, my um, my goals that I want to attain for the year, just every single thing. The phone does not work for me, okay? It doesn't work for me. I don't know if it works for you, but I want to encourage you guys to get a book, all right? So definitely first things first, get a book, all right? What did I say? Get a book and maybe your favorite pen um, because that encourages writing like a nice smooth pen that you know is your personal pen and um, that encourages you to write scientifically that's what was said so I'm gonna flip through the pages and get to my notes where I wrote down all the information that I wanted to cover with you guys I hope you guys are doing well with your businesses I'm always sending good luck to those that are thinking to start a business that actually those who have actually started a business and those who are revamping and trying to grow their business I know how it is I'm still trying to grow my business and get it to be bigger than what it is right now but I'm very thankful for the process and where we are at right now so i'm going to talk about how i got started for those that do not know my name is tamoya also known as moya i am the owner of a natural skincare business which is all natural and handcrafted by me family and my daughter so I started my skincare business as a hobby. Most of you probably did start your business as a hobby and you guys seen it's picking up. So you're deciding, hey, let me just turn this into a profession where I can make money. And that's exactly what I did. I started Laura unofficially about four years ago. I uh, really got serious with it about two years, but four years ago is when I started it. I was making a formula or a butter which will help my daughter with her eczema. I decided to go on YouTube and look at different formulas and DIYs for making your own body butter. Then I also researched to see what butters were uh, essential 
or actually work for those with eczema. And I came up with my first product, which is the Cocoa Shea Aloe Butter. And that was my very, very first product because that's what I made for my daughter. My daughter used it, it was working for her. Um, I would put that in her bag for school, teachers liked it. I was like, wow, they really like it. All right, let me make something else. So then I moved on to the Vanilla Bean, which was one of the top sellers and my family loved it. My mom would take her, um, would take these items to work and it sold out. And then I was like, hmm, I might have something here. So then I started to make more and more and then I expanded to where we are today. That's how I started my skincare company. Um, yeah, and that's how Laura was born. What I'm gonna start with, apart from just giving you the back history or background of Laura, is I'm first gonna start with, and I have it written down here, um, at this moment your emotions are involved and if you are not stable at this time, meaning like you feel some type of way, you're on Instagram, you're scrolling through and you're looking at other businesses, whether it's a skincare business, whether it's a lip gloss business, whether it's selling clothes, whether it's selling wigs or hair, whatever you may be doing, if you are on Instagram and you feel discouraged or you feel jealous, which is an emotion that you are entitled to feel, um, if you feel jealous or you just feel like you're not good enough, please, and this might be, this might sound a little harsh, but not really, unfollow them or hide the posts, all right? Right now, what I want you to do is follow people that are inspiring. We are no longer right now following anyone that makes you feel less than. And it's not that they're doing it on purpose to you, but where you're at in your life right now, you need to be brought up, all right? So you looking at other people's ac accomplishments and you're feeling inadequate and not feeling good enough, that is not a, a good feeling right now. And what you need to do is build yourself and then you can get back to that place there. Right now, what you need to do is only follow inspirational um, people on Instagram or Facebook. We only want you to look up inspirational uh, things on YouTube. Things are gonna better yourself and better your business, all right? So right now, we are interested in growing and that's all we're interested in. Our main focus is to grow and grow in a positive way. We're not gonna spread negativity you know, because you never know what the person went through to get to where they what they are right now. Like, uh, for me, I went through a lot. I mean, I went through debt. I went through um, giving up many times. I went through um, trying to grow my business and keep my business afloat during a really, really tough time in my life where I, you know, had a breakup um, with my daughter's father and we were together about 11 and a half years. So, um, yeah, during that time it was horrible and I was just not in a good space, but I still had to keep on going for my business. So that is tip number, I don't know, two, three or whatever, but that tip is do not follow anyone that you're not inspired by at this time. If you were at a point in your life that you can follow other people and be happy for their accomplishments, that is fine. But if you feel some type of way, the mind space that you're in right now is not to follow them. Follow inspirational um, posts on Instagram, inspirational people. Like when I was at a certain place in my life, I had to unfollow people and it wasn't personal. If they asked me, I'm just like, you know, right now, I'm not in the good mind space to follow you at the moment. I had to work on myself. So I worked on myself and what I did daily, I would wake up and see affirmations, you know, going through my feed. I would see uh, positive quotes, you know, just uplifting um, mentors I follow on Instagram or YouTube. And I would flood my mind space with that. So that is what I want you to do right now. So pause this video and please go and do that or do it right after. So moving on to the next one. There was this um, quote that I've seen on Instagram that stuck out to me and that I said I wanted to share with you guys. And it goes like this. If you are not to be in your life, why are you chilling so much? All right? Say that to yourself and think about it. Are you going as hard as you need to go for your business? 
at a point in time I was discouraged and like I said I had to draw back and really think about why you know why am I not where I want to be in my business and it's because I was not going as hard as I should have been I was not sacrificing certain things that I should have been for my business at a point in time last year I was just like like on overdrive you asked me to go somewhere and if my funds was not enough to um, you know do a event for um, some place that probably asked me for swag bags and no I had to take out my own money for promotion versus going on a trip I chose to spend that money on the items and the inventory to promote my business at an event I was saying a lot of no's last year you know what I'm saying and people probably thought I changed or whatever but it wasn't that I was just a hundred percent focused on my business because I said to myself if this doesn't work um, all right I'm gonna try something else you know what I'm saying because I was going hard and the way I was going hard it had to work it had no choice I definitely dedicated myself to my business I was not just chilling if you would call me what are you doing oh researching what are you doing making stuff what are you doing at an event promoting my business like I, it was always geared to La Aura. nothing else ask anybody that knows me know that I was living and breathing La Aura and trying to make my business better so you need to ask yourself that if you are not where you want to be in your business you should not be chilling and if you really want it Get up and go and get it. You need to do what you need to do in order to get what you need to get. You cannot sit down and think that it's gonna come to you because some of us are not built that way. Some of us don't have things to just drop in the middle of our laps and it just blossoms. Some of us have to work for it. So if you're not putting in the work and then you're complaining about why this is not working for you, then I don't know what to tell you. Like, it's gonna be a lot of hard work and dedication and once you put in that work, you would definitely see results. And if you don't, that means something is missing and you need to go back to the drawing board, know what works, know what doesn't work, and tweak what doesn't work, all right? Don't give up instantly. You're gonna just try different formulas. This is trial and error. And when something sticks, you're good to go. Another thing that I wanted to cover is, and I'm sorry if I'm just looking down, is because I'm looking at the book, um it's basically i wanted to tell you guys to make space for what you're asking for you cannot have it all um erase the clutter in your life all right so what i did and if you guys see my other video um where i actually took a mental break earlier this year i took a mental break for some reason it just told me tamoya you need to go and take a break and clear your mind because I felt so overwhelmed because when I say I was going hard that year, 2019, I was going hard. What I was doing was preparing my brain, studying like I was in college, researching, watching influencers to make sure that I sent out to the right influencers. When I say I was studying the side of the business, I was definitely studying. Certain times you could not call me on the phone because I was watching mentors lives like that's how dedicated I was so I was overwhelmed in a sense because that's all I was doing so I told myself what I'm going to do is take a little break in the beginning of the year I went away to Cabo with my mom and I just I didn't do anything according to work because you know I was just going so hard and I needed to relax so um i just sat down and probably thought about what i wanted to change and um once i got back i executed that so um went to cabo and i just cleared my mental space because i knew once i came back what i was asking for was gonna come and two months later um my business took off just like that all right so i made space and i manifested what i wanted I, you know, have affirmations, affirmations, and I definitely went for it. So I want you guys to clear what is not purposeful for you, what is not good for you, what is not working for you. Clear that out 
so you can make room for the stuff that should work for you stuff that's positive stuff that will allow your business to grow so that's what i want you to do clear your mind space at a time and i'm a single woman and if i was talking to someone that i felt that was not good for me and my business or even my child i'm not dealing with you because i don't have the time to have negative energy and i don't have the time to have extra stuff added to my plate when i have a whole bunch already so i didn't mess with that bye bye <laughs> i i didn't i just didn't have the time and and my patience is about this thin once i'm working with a whole bunch of other stuff and trying to grow my business and you're not trying to uplift me or even like help me by being supportive by following my page by even reposting then i'm sorry you're not the person for me because i have a vision and you're not going to jump on at the end when it's already built all right so if i was dating someone that also didn't see my vision in the way that i seen it and which is fine but didn't like try to help and was trying to like oh you don't have no time for me you don't it's because I'm growing. You know, I'm growing a business, sweetheart. So you're not the person for me. You, you're not gonna understand what I'm trying to get to right now, all right? So like I said, make space, whether it being dating, whether it being just like even my home office space. I came and I also showed you guys a video of that, showing you guys how to um, create a home office space for about $150. I came home and I said, I am going to make a space for me to work. I did not have an actual space and I was just working on my dining room table. And I said, no, this dining room table is for you and your daughter to sit down and you know, just talk about stuff while you guys eat. I'm gonna make a separate space for my work. And this is what I did and i made that space and i love that space i did everything there i was always in that workspace so i want you guys to do that make space mentally make space physically some of us don't have the, the adequate space to run a business but you're gonna use what you have and stop making excuses all right if you're just working out of your room dedicate a little section to just your work if you have like an um I have a two bedroom apartment, but um, I had my dining area and I made a part of my dining area my workspace and they'll be good for your taxes too. So definitely make your workspace at home so you can dedicate that just to your business. Try and find a way. Look at the video that I have a um, couple of videos back to see, you know, different ideas you guys can use for your home workspace. But I want you guys to eliminate clutter so you can make room for what you guys are supposed to get to grow your business. All right, so I kind of covered this a little bit before, but the next one that I have here is writing your ideas down. I cannot stress enough how important it is to write your ideas down in a book write it down i used to sometimes write it you know miscellaneously on a paper there and a paper there and then when i need to get to it i can't find it so this is why i say you definitely need a nice little book you know that is just your own personal life diary regardless of what it is if you feel a, a certain type of way write it down in your book if you're trying to make a decision write your pros and your cons and then physically you can see it you know what i'm saying sometimes we are we as human beings need to physically see it and i know for myself i need to physically see it so that's why vision boards are very great for us or just writing down your ideas and stuff and then it manifests um, what else another tip i want to give you guys is take your time i know some of you see the success of other people and you want to rush yours don't worry it's coming but if you don't take your time to perfect it you're gonna waste a lot of time and you're gonna waste money and i always say the two go hand in hand time and money those are the two most expensive things okay in my life that i am fully concerned on you don't waste my time and you don't waste my money all right and we're okay and mess with my daughter <laughs> Take your time to perfect what you need to perfect. There's many times that 
I seen a different, another company come out with something and I'm like, oh, let me run to go and do this. Sweetheart, no. You need to focus on what you need to focus on. Do what you're doing. Whatever works for you is gonna work for you. Perfect that. If you see that you put out something it's not really selling, maybe it's not connecting or maybe you're not marketing it properly. So go back to the drawing board and reformulate what you need to do. It's okay. We all make mistakes and it's fine. Um, it's a part of the process. So, you know, perfect what you need to perfect. Do research. Research is so important. I have a lot of you, you know, DM me and ask me stuff and I'm not, you know, I'm fine with answering them. But what you must do, even if I give you something, I'm expecting for you to go on Google and research that. I'm expecting for you to go on YouTube, watch videos about it. Um, research because that is how you're going to gain your knowledge. You're going to research and then you're going to do your trial and error. See if it works for you. See if it doesn't. Your audience is different from my audience. I'm not sure what your target audience, and we're going to get to that word, what your target audience is, and it probably is completely different from mine. You know? So you need to research and formulate what will work for you and what will speak to your people the people that you're making your products for you're selling your products to don't just look at someone else's things oh i could do that you have to research and know if it's going to work for your business i'm fine giving you guys information i'm fine giving you guys whatever you guys need but everything is gonna work differently for everyone because we're not all the same. We're not all marketing it the same way. We're not all doing the same thing. So it's fine. Everybody makes body butter, you know what I'm saying? But what makes her body butter different from this person's body butter is probably how she markets it, how she emphasizes the ingredients she uses, how she packages it. So it's okay. Just do your research. Research, research, research. Next thing that I'm gonna go to when I just touched on the target audience. Now, this is one thing that baffled the hell out of me when I first started. I would always see mentors that I follow say, what is your target audience? Like, what are you talking about my target audience? I'm selling, I'm selling to everybody. No, you need a target audience. Who is your ideal person that you want to sell this product to? And like I said, with your notes, I want you to get a book, write down who you want to sell to. Yes, you want everyone to buy your product, but we want to talk to a person specifically, all right? We want to talk to one type of person, specific, specifically, all right? So my target audience is people of color, particularly females between the ages of, I want to say, 21 to about 35, 38. Um, these people are self-conscious, they are self-aware, they want to live a better lifestyle of taking care of their body. They are um, people who are on a journey to just, you know, live a better lifestyle. That could be starting with them eating better and making better choices for their skincare because as you know, your skin is an organ. So whatever you place on your skin is gonna be absorbed in your body. So my target audience are females that are very self-conscious, self-aware and want to live better lives. So um, they go for natural skincare those that are probably uh, more on the natural side, those who are proud of um, taking care of their skin and not changing, like bleaching and stuff like that, those that probably, down to the core, you need to know, pros, um, those that are probably making about, I wanna say, 35 to about $80,000 a year because natural skincare is not cheap. Those who really, really are dedicated into getting good quality. Um, that's just, just a gist of who I'm targeting to. So I want you guys 
to get your book and write down your ideal customer all right that's how you will develop to know your target your target audience i was clueless about this in the beginning i just wanted to sell to everyone whoever wants my product hey buy it it's until that i understood my target audience is when i knew how to speak and when I say speak, is market on Instagram to my audience. The way how I naturally talk, because that person that I just described is someone that's like myself. I'm some, someone that eventually wants to be a pescatarian. I eventually, probably, if I can be, you know, be a pescatarian, become a vegan. I want to live a better lifestyle. I'm very self-conscious. I love skincare. So the ideal person that I have in my mind is myself. So I will use myself and say, self, where could I um, promote to people like yourself? Where do these people shop? Where do these people eat? Um, what music do they listen to? Like you have to figure all of that out as a way to promote to these people. So when we get into like Facebook ads and Instagram ads, those will make a difference because you really want to know where to put your ads and where, you know, to be seen so that your audience or your target person will be able to see you. And once you do that, you'll know how to communicate with them. I'm, the way how I talk is the same way that I would talk on my Instagram to promote, you know? I would like, I'll use yes, sis, okay, you know, stuff like that. Those type of verbiage. I'm not using something that's not me because the audience can feel that it's fake. And if you captivated a type of person and they're on your page now, you want to keep their attention. You want to make it relatable. That's what it is. It has to be relatable. If it's not relatable, they're going to unfollow you. All right. And you're not going to execute to say, okay, they're definitely going to shop with me because it does take a person. I think I read about a time to see your product or see your post for them to be converted into a customer or for them to go on your website to give you a try and then, um, you know, spend their money with you. You know, people work hard for their money, so you got to convince them. And especially since my company is not a known, known company they're taking a chance and the skin is very sensitive so i understand it so i don't have a problem um promoting the same thing over and over again like it's okay I also seen another post the other day listen i don't give a damn this is what the post said i don't give a damn if you're posting and posting and posting post the same thing eight times in eight different ways with eight different captions still post all right you're your concern is the strangers okay your concern is promoting your business and who wants to see will see it and they'll probably be exposed to it about eight times who doesn't want to see it they'll unfollow you you don't want those type of followers that's fine because they're not interested and that's okay you haven't um captivated them enough and that's fine because there are people that you're gonna captivate so you worry about the people that you are getting their attention you're not worrying about the people that are not paying attention to you. Your thing is to promote to people that are already, what is the word, that are already interested, all right? So that's going on to the next one. When I first started, I thought up and down, I could have swore up and down that all my friends from junior high school or my friends from even any any type of school my, my friends from elementary my friends from junior high school the people that follow me on Instagram college um, high school were definitely gonna buy my stuff because they knew me I was wrong okay the most support that I got was from strangers now don't get me wrong i do have my family i do have some people from you know junior high school even elementary high school and college that support me a hundred percent and i'm not saying that you won't have some yes i have some dedicated people some that i haven't even seen in 10 years that actually support my business you know if i have a pop-up shop they are there Yes, I'm not talking about those people. I'm talking about 
the strangers that you don't know versus the many people that you know, they will support you. They will be faster to support you than people that you know. Don't get it twisted in a way like, you know, it's malicious. I just, I was, I was really hurt by that. I was really offended by that. Um, and I know most of you guys can relate to that. It's okay. Do not take it personal. And I had to get over that. I had to sit down and talk to myself because I do talk to myself and um, sit down and talk to myself and say to Moya, it's okay. This is probably not, this is probably something that they are not interested in. Some people are not interested in natural skincare and that's fine. Just because they know you doesn't mean they have to buy from you. It's okay. You haven't convinced them yet. Continue promoting. Bernice, um, she just posted my stuff online and the amount of people that i knew that congratulated me then purchased was insane you know what i'm saying but all this time for four years i've been promoting my business and some weren't convinced but it's okay it took bernice to post on her page for me to repost on my page to get the attention of some of the people that i've known for years or just associates to say, oh my gosh, good job, Tamoya. Oh, can you tell me what works with this? Blah, blah, blah. And that's fine because it's still money and it's still support. So probably now it's not the time for you to convince them. Probably they don't have any money to 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 spend, you know, elsewhere. You never know what's what's happening. So don't take offense to it a hundred percent. Now I understand that the person is like your right hand and they are not supporting you in any way, they're not reposting, they're not this, then I, I can understand what you there. But it's okay. You have to not hold a grudge because it's business, it's not personal. You want to focus on your target audience and those strangers that you want to convince and have them now be your customer. So it's okay if people that you associate with don't buy your stuff you want to target those people that you don't know people that are non-biased at the moment that you want to sway and say hey i want to try her products i want i want to give it a try so focus on that don't take anything else personal you want to invest as much time positive energy into your business as possible so that's something I wanted to cover because when I first started, I was so offended by that. I was so offended by, by family members not automatically purchasing my stuff, but keep on saying, oh, I have to buy from you, I have to buy from you. Okay, the website has been here. Um, you still haven't bought. So whenever they're ready, they will buy. Like I, I came to terms with that. Like I couldn't take that personal anymore. So I feel better with that. <laughs> and I promise you, I promise you, your business will make it and then once it's promoted in a certain way that's going to catch their eyes they're going to be on it too they're definitely going to purchase and be like oh my gosh i know her i knew for her i knew her from way back then if my if my products end up in target i know the people that know me are definitely going to buy and support because i already got them you know exposed to it you know they've been seeing it but they probably just don't trust me enough and that's okay because skincare is something that you know you you need to see you need to feel you need to smell and i understand all of that just because you know me doesn't mean that you have to support my business monetarily but i mean i would appreciate a repost or something you know another tip that i have and probably is going to be one of the last because i don't want this video to be too long but another tip is make a story all right when you're first starting out uh you just decided what you're gonna do or you're still trying to figure out the name and i'm gonna give you a tip after that um to after this to you know motivate you in a way to come up with a name um what i want to tell you is make a story the day and age that we live in right now people are they love reality tv shows they love behind the scenes they love to feel connected all right 
So what I want you to do is make a story. How did you come about with your business if you have a business? How did you come about with your business? How you came up with that? That's the, one of the first questions I get. How I came up with the name, how I got started, what made me start a natural skincare business. So my story is a story that I, I introduced already. I already told you my story. That is also on my website. All right, you need that to be on your website because if the person is still uneasy about you, the first thing they're gonna go to is about, about us on your on your Instagram or um, on your, sorry, not Instagram, on your website. So I have an about us or about, and you could definitely go on there and read over that. I might have to revamp it because I believe it's kind of old. It's about two years ago that I wrote that, um, but you guys can get an idea. So you could go on my website and probably screenshot that and reword it, please, okay? Reword it and make sure that it is connected to you and it's authentic and it speaks in a, in a language where it conveys to your target audience. You're gonna wanna know your target audience in order to know, to know how to speak to them. So that is the very first thing that you need to do. That's your homework, okay? Know your target audience make a story so also with selling a story we as human beings we connect well with emotion all right so if you're posting something with that ties into an emotion like oh i have my daughter she has eczema probably some of you guys have eczema some of you probably have a daughter that has eczema some of you probably have a mom someone has someone that they know has eczema so you feel connected because it's a part of an emotion so um right there you we are relating all right so that's an emotion um you could you could tell you you could sell your story through emotion which i just tried to explain to you guys emotional connection um problem solving so on my um instagram there are times where I would write a caption um, explaining um, something like hyperpigmentation. And I have a dark spot color corrector pen and I would let them know in the notes what is hyperpigmentation and explaining to, them that it, explaining to my um, customers that it is predominant um, or normal for women of color or people of color to have hyperpigmentation problems um so explaining the problem which i have had hyperpigmentation and explaining the problem through my experience and then solving the problem with my um dark spot color corrective pen so if you can solve a problem for someone you probably have already sold them probably the next time that they get some money, they're gonna spend it with you. I tell people, um, they ask, oh, how, how did you know what to start? I tell people all the time, get your book, write down things in your book that people have complimented you about, write down things that um, you know you're good at, write down things that is just natural for you, write down things that is fun. You're gonna go through that list. And many people compliment me on my skin since I was younger because I've always been into skin care and self care. I would always take out time to myself for me to just listen to my music, for me to probably draw, for me to uh, be creative, um, stuff like that. And my mom knew I was very creative. She would always buy me um, uh, books to, to sketch in um, she knew I love music so she would buy me like music equipment for um, for Christmas like things like that that you know that you're good at you want to enhance and I'm creative which is a good thing why I'm in control of my Instagram I'm I'm a problem solver people always come to me for me to solve problems and I love um, solving problems um, I love skincare, so that's a plus. And 
because I've always taken an interest in skincare from when I was younger, like I said. And um, I love doing DIY. So I put all of that together and I was just like, okay, I can start a business making skincare. This is something that I love. This is something that I do on a regular anyway. So now it's just me to expand it and make it in bigger quantities. So this is how I came about with it, to make it as a business. With the business name now, what I did was I sat down probably for a whole week writing down, and there we go again with writing down stuff, writing down just names that came to me because I did not want to name my skincare business Moya's Body and Soul. I did not want to name my skincare business Moya's Body um, Products because there were so many people that were going for names like that. I knew that I wanted to expand, but I took a whole week to just like sit down and write names that will come to my head, something that I knew sounded good. And like I said, you always want to tell a story. So I made it in a way that the aura wasn't self-explanatory. I made it in a way that you would have to ask me or want to come on my page and find about find out about the aura. Like what is it? What does it sell? What does it do? So um, I grabbed people just by the name. I made it sound very luxurious and rich, you know, and that was something that I was going towards, you know. Um, and then after I found the name, which is Le, and the, so the first part of Laura, the first how I got the name is I wrote down a whole bunch of stuff that. Um, like synonyms that will describe a person who is into like skincare or I don't know but in my head I know exactly what I'm saying but um aura which is just like the energy or like the outer the outerness of a person um don't quote me on that um and I would associate aura with kind of like your energy, your vibe, your 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 scent or something like that. And then to make it look fancy, because it was just about it looking fancy, I put left, which is the, so it's like the aura, your vibe, your scent, your feel, you know what I'm saying? So that's how I came up with La Aura. And then I played around with fonts and one that um, stood out to me, that's what I stuck with. Um, and then it was just that I actually made my logo on uh, one of those apps logo apps and there you go that's how it was and that's what I first came out with and that was that. I don't know where I started off with what I was saying but it led me to that <laughs> all right so yes I remember so that was problem solving so you want to solve a problem for someone and that's how you're gonna sell your story or that's how you're gonna come up with a type of business that you want, problem solving. The next one is giving info. So on my Instagram as well, I'm gonna cover this in another like how to market and how to, you know, um, marketing strategies for your Instagram. So this one will be a part of it, but I'm gonna just, you know, I'm just gonna do a brief little thing right now. Giving info, um, builds trust so on my Instagram like I told you I talked about hyperpigmentation then I gave the information so someone doesn't have to go on Google to know what hyperpigmentation is not everyone knows what it is so someone will just say oh I'm dark and light in this spot okay so the proper term is hyperpigmentation and these are the type of people that get hyperpigmentation this is how it's treated and now I'm doing the problem solving. Now I have something to treat it. So I'm just giving them information. Oh, 60% of what you put on your skin can be absorbed, you know? So that's information. Um, coconut oil is a superfood. You can also use it on your skin. You could cook with it. You could also uh, use it as mouthwash. Like any information or any uncommon information that you know about your product or whatever you're selling can definitely be put on your Instagram or just convey that to your your audience or your customers 
and that will build trust and they would trust you because they don't know you and they will become your customer later on so that is that other tip there was something else i wanted to tell you but like i was in the shower and i didn't write it down i don't carry my my, my book in the shower now you know <laughs> all right so i think that concludes my giving you advice and tips that i was so baffled on when i was just started my business hopefully i helped you guys in some way um let me know if you like the style of this video in my nice comfy couch now you know this is the only part that's actually set up i can't show you over there you know what i'm saying we're not ready yet but i am gonna do a little tour my next video i'm gonna um answer the questions that you guys have so i'm still waiting for you guys to give me more questions so i can answer them for you in a whole nother video and i can't wait to do that because you guys have a lot of questions and i'm here and happy to help you guys um it's just so interesting that you guys are like oh my gosh i'm so inspired i'm so inspired and this was me looking at other people's videos being so inspired subscribing putting on the notification and just like can't wait till they put out more you know videos or give more information for me to just learn because that's one thing i love to learn all right so i'm just excited and happy that you guys have helped me to get to a thousand subscribers and next year who knows where i'll be so i really appreciate you guys for that but this is going to conclude this video um like i said i hope you guys got some good tips i hope you guys are a bit motivated oh there's another one don't go here just yet motivation 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 okay so my last and final tip for you guys is yes i do understand that some of you guys are not motivated a hundred percent and i get it i understand and i have been there several times when i tell you i gave up probably like hmm a lot your girl has given up a lot because i was overwhelmed i was going through things life happens um i felt discouraged like i said like there were so many things that made me not want to do it anymore but it was just something about my business that i felt like no take a break and then keep on going there were several times i took breaks there's times i remember the, the time before this there was times i would get orders and I was so discouraged to the point where I would actually just give them a refund. I just did not even want to go to the post office. I did not want to put stuff in a bag to send. I was like that discouraged. And I know some of you guys probably feel that. And some of you guys just like want to be like, okay, already. Can I get there? Can I get successful? Can I get consistent customers and stuff? But it's coming. You just have to prepare and if you need to take a break go ahead and take a break it's fine we all have to take a break don't feel like you need to be go 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 no you could go 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 stop rest but as long as if you know that you're going to get back to your bag or your potential bag you're going to get up and keep it moving it's okay to take a break we need a break because if not we're going to break down and we're going to just like get burned out and especially if we're doing it just for the money it's gonna get overwhelming and it's gonna be discouraging so take a break if you need to take a break to revamp like I did I took a break for probably about I want to say seven months to study 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 and I'm gonna give you guys some apps and some um, mentors and some all my little secrets I'm gonna give you in another video um, but I did take off seven months to revamp and I kept what was working uh, Like my quotes because if you go on my Instagram, you see that I do quotes and then I do a picture or video quote picture or video and Before I was just like, I don't know what to post. I don't know what to post and then I was just like, okay, let's cheat How about if you have this amount of quotes this amount of pictures and then you could keep on recycling until I just end up making more quotes and getting a lot of content for pictures or videos and sometimes i didn't have 
anybody to send me videos or pictures and I made it myself. And it was very entertaining for my customers because it showed them how to do it and it gave them information. So I want, to, I want you guys to see how all of this is gonna connect. And once you get a flow and a system that works for you, your business is gonna take off. But um, yeah, so that's gonna conclude uh, this video that I have for you guys. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Um, these topics were something that were like deep inside of me because these are topics and things that I didn't know. And um, some of them I didn't actually find out until I actually was doing good in my business. So hopefully this can help you um, look at your business in a different way. But I definitely want you guys to make sure you do your homework. Make sure you guys know your target audience. Make sure you guys have a story to tell. Um, also, make sure you have a website. All right? Please have a website so that you can have... So once you captivate your audience from Instagram, you want to drive the traffic somewhere. So you're going to tell all these people, come on, come on, come on, come on. Look at me, look at me, look at me. They're looking at you, but what do you have? You know, you can't just say, oh, I have that, da, 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 da. They want to be in control of seeing what you have. So you're going to take them over. Okay, hey, look at my table. You don't want to just look at me, just look at me. No, that's not how it's going to go. You need a website. So I want you guys to make sure you have a website so you can, you know, flow your traffic on over to this side and have them look around on your page. I actually, I actually was assisted by my daughter's cousin who used to make websites and he did the first one. And then when I revamped, I did the whole entire website over. So if you guys have questions about website, I actually use WooCommerce um so wordpress yeah woocommerce wordpress so that's what i'm knowledgeable on if you have spotify i'm not too knowledgeable i don't have a lot of knowledge on that but i've heard Spotify is actually easy and have great customer service so you can definitely you know try to look at videos that will help you to understand um what you don't know because that's what i do i google everything and i youtube everything so that's going to conclude this video. Hope you guys learned something or can take away from this video to help grow your business. Hope I answered some questions that you have had in your head. I want you guys to subscribe to my channel. Please click the subscribe button down below. Click the like button and leave your questions below so that I can answer um, in the upcoming video for you guys. All right. Take care. Bye.